Hello YouTube! After a long time my N7 cosplay is finally finished. Today I will show you the final accessory for the armor, my custom made Omni tool which culminates the 9 year long Commander Shepard cosplay project. The Omni tool was made out of transparent acrylic plastic and it was laser cut to fit the forearm of my N7 armor. The tool is equipped with an extendable Omni blade, which locks in place thanks to a 3D printed hinge mechanism. I made the Omni tool out of acrylic strips found in a bin at a plastic warehouse. The pieces were very small and otherwise they would go to waste, so the staff sold them to me almost for free. I modeled the Omni tool in SketchUp on a mock-up of my N7 suit forearm. I was careful to design the templates so that they would fit on the available scraps of acrylic. In the end I took almost all the available space but managed to fit all the required parts. The templates were sent for laser cutting and engraving. When all the parts were ready, I could start assembling the whole thing together. Acrylic bends really well when you heat it up. Normally, if you'd like to get a sharp bend on your acrylic, you would use a specialistic strip heater. Uh, however, I don't have any at home, so I made a crude homemade version out of cardboard, paper clips and a heat gun. The cardboard shielded the acrylic from the hot air and I could heat it up precisely where I wanted the bend. Acrylic can be nicely glued together with cyanoacrylic superglue and as long as you don't use uh, too much of it you should be good. If you overdo it and the humidity is high, the glue might leave a white residue along the glued joints that will have to be removed later. Originally, I was planning to use some electroluminescent wire to illuminate the Omni tool, and that's why I designed a space for the small DC to AC converter. Uh, the converter wouldn't be too visible on the black background of the N7 armor. I eventually decided not to use the electronics, since the wire I bought was way too dim for my needs and the plain Omni tool looked great already without any additional lights. After I glued the Omni tool together, I could manually bend it to the correct shape. A heat gun was a perfect tool for this. However, not to heat up the parts I didn't want bent, I shielded them with some paper towels and a masking tape in advance. I was thinking of some different ways with which I could attach the Omni blade to the forearm. The simplest and most reliable one I came up with was just to use a piece of Velcro. It's low profile, strong and I was already using it in the various parts of the armor, so it conceptually matched the whole project. The Omni tool can be put on and off without any problems and it's very steady. In order to attach the retractable Omni blade to the rest of the Omni tool, I needed to come up with a simple and small bistable mechanism which would soundly lock the blade in two positions, retracted and extended. I designed the mechanism in SketchUp. In the first prototype, I became a victim of the so-called cut goggles syndrome. Because digitally I could zoom in indefinitely, the parts I designed turned out way smaller than expected and they broke on assembly. In the second prototype I was planning to use four neodymium magnets, but with the little space I had to spare, the magnets were way too weak to hold the blade in place. In the third prototype I made the spring light mechanism with pins and sockets, which would clip together in two opposite positions. I 3D printed the prototype out of orange PLA to match the rest of the Omni blade and assembled it together for testing. It was quite hard to move the discs manually, but I knew that with the leverage provided by the blade the force would be much, much smaller. I lubricated the joint with PTFE silicone paste and assembled it on the Omni blade. The mechanism felt very sturdy and the action was very satisfying, so I decided to stick to the third prototype. 
The finished Omni tool looks quite nice both in the retracted and extended configurations. It matches my N7 cosplay really well and I'm very happy with the result. With my N7 armor finally being ready, I will be probably starting to work on the Tali cosplay for my girlfriend. Some of the preliminary material preparations for the visor are already done. Thank you very much for watching. The whole N7 armor project together with the helmet and the M8 Avenger is documented on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. See you next time.